good morning still. Uh, thank you for uh, my introduction. Well, uh, yes, I'm from Kurtov Moravia. For those of uh, you who don't know who we are, uh, we are a company for you know, mainly playful design, uh, which means we are uh, doing mainly LARPs, but also uh, gamifications and, uh, well, in general, uh, playful service design. What am I speaking today is a course of LARP design or maybe I can say the design of non-PC role-playing games because in its basics uh, these games are very similar in, in its design. And uh, this course we are making uh, with my colleagues uh, in Kurt of Moravia but uh, other great people contributed to it. Uh, so it's uh, bigger, bigger than us. And uh, what am I speaking about? Uh, or will speaking about? Uh, I will say some words about the LARP itself because I'm not sure if everybody here is familiar with this word. Uh, then we will talk about what we do at a course and how and why uh, I think it's uh, really important, why, why it matters. And uh, I will show you some our results or uh, some our similar courses in the world. And uh, I will speak about our next ambitions with the course. Well, what is the LARP? Uh, LARP is a live action role playing game. It means that uh, it happens in a real time and in real space. So people are playing characters at uh, real spaces, like for example, in cities, in buildings, in, uh, I don't know, in forests, for example. And uh, they don't use to uh, get to the character some uh, video console or some PC or well, other, other mm, I don't know, uh, stuff. Uh, just players start to be a character for the time of the game and mm, they act as, as the character. Uh, I think that LARP is more Paedia than Ludus, so uh, it's, uh, but well, uh, this depends on the actual LARP. Uh, people act as they are expecting that their character uh, would act and the result of the game uh, is not normally preset, it depends uh, on the actions of players. Uh, there is a great tradition at the Czech Republic of LARPs in general, uh, and of so-called chamber LARPs especially, because uh, it's something mm, really uh, specific for, for Czech Republic. However, uh, it's, uh, it's broader than us. Uh, the main characters, the characteristics of the chamber LARP is that uh, it uh, is very uh, large for a very short time, to, like for, from two to six hours. Uh, it is made by two, from two to one or two rooms or, you know, uh, some closed, uh, closed space. Uh, it's not the, for the whole city, but for example, for only this room. And uh, uh, it's also for a uh, few players, so uh, from five or four, four, from four to 20 players. Uh, I mention this because uh, our course is uh, uh, about creating this type of LARPs for, um, for many reasons. <laughs> so, uh, the course. We named it School because it's cool. <laughs> and uh, it's a course for 9 to 15 participants. And our main goal uh, is to teach them uh, some theory of design. We want to, to, from them to do a LARP uh, in, the, in the end of the course. Uh, we also teach them to work in a team. Uh, we show them possibilities of LARPs, which can be, for example, some educational purposes, why we, why we do that. And uh, we also teach them some creative ways of working. Uh, the structure of the course is uh, very important for us. Uh, because we start with uh, opening weekend uh, where our goal is to uh, 
to know each other mainly uh, because uh, for the next uh, duration of the of the course uh, the participants will be uh, working together in a teams and uh, the knowing each other is very important for this and also to uh, so uh, in the in the in the uh, opening weekend they make a teams and also the first concepts of their LARPs. Uh, then uh, there is a time period of two to three months uh, where uh, while we are meeting uh, once a week, uh, there are eight or nine classes for, for the duration of the course and uh, it ends by closing weekend where we are, we are beta testing our created LARPs. Well, and uh, there are many important aspects of the, of the course, but I want to speak today about these four, which I uh, think are the most important. Uh, the first is that our target group of this course is uh, pretty uh, rare, because uh, our target, groups, uh, our target group is mainly university students, and I mean by that, that we are looking for students who, for example, never even played LARP. And we want from them that they, do, they directly do LARP. So it's, uh, uh, it's uh, very interesting for me to meet with these people who are willing to do something that they even know it. And uh, for us, uh, it's very important to have those different people with uh, very different backgrounds uh, in order to make original concepts and to share experience. Uh, we have at the course, for example, people who study pedagogists, uh, who are pedagogists, biologists, phy physics, uh, programmators, anthropologists, students of studies of religions, uh, medics, service design students, and so on and so on, and also uh, general public, uh, which also contribute. And why this is so important? Because uh, I think that differences boost the creativity, and we are looking for totally new approaches in doing LARPs. Uh, okay, other important aspect of, uh, of the course is that the participants really do a LARP. Uh, it means each group of four to, from three to four participants uh, make its own LARP through the course and we lead them through all the game design process. Why? <laughs> uh, because there is no experience without praxis and we don't want to create uh, theoreticians but designers from them. Other important aspects is that we have some mentors in the course, and this is really important also. Uh, each group uh, or each team of, uh, of participants who, who make their, their LARP uh, has his own mentor, or some expert uh, who is, uh, who is uh, guiding them through, through the, all the process. Uh, because we are uh, meeting from, uh, with uh, participants only on our discussions once a week and it's on their own to meet in, the, uh, in some other time and discuss their life and create a life. And for these uh, separate uh, meetings, uh, there are our mentors who are experts at uh, doing life designers and very interesting people uh, to lead them through, through the process. Uh, their goal is really to maintain the process, but, but uh, from, from distance and help the team uh, when they are not knowing what to do. Uh, he is not pushing them, uh, the mentor, he is never do a LARP instead of them, and his role is really to guide them. And uh, <laughs> uh, you can uh, imagine uh, how how it could be interesting uh, if you look at the names of some experts who contributed, uh, you can uh, meet them here in the conference also. And uh, why we do that? 
it's uh, pretty obvious uh, because we want really to give the teams uh, support and uh, some expert knowledge uh, from more than we can we can uh, uh, put on them only by by the discussions uh, weekly. Okay, and uh, the last but not least uh, thing is uh, the game design process itself, uh, because uh, we, uh, um, and by we I mean uh, people from Kurt of Moravia mainly, are very uh, well known of uh, service design and service design techniques, uh, and we uh, think that the LARP is a service, uh, because it's for people, so. Uh, we, we think about life like a service. And uh, we are really f very familiar with the, those methods of, uh, for example, human-centered design and uh, service design thinking and, and so on. And we really think that should, it should be do, do this this way. Uh, we, uh, we teach uh, design techniques like idea generators, uh, prototyping, testing, iterations and so on and so on. And why? Uh, because we want to set LARP to a bigger context. Uh, it's, uh, we want to participants cake, can take their, their LARPs they do on the course and to uh, run them uh, on their works or on other contexts that they are working in or studying in, uh, for example, for cities. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, to use them in in broad, broader context. And what are our results? Well, uh, until today we had 38 participants at three courses uh, because uh, we started like two years ago and uh, now we are running the third repetition of the course. The important uh, result is that uh, the participants really made seven new LARPs until today which is great uh, for the Brno, which is not <laughs> so big. And uh, at least three new organizing groups after the course are really working on their own LARPs until today. And uh, from my point of view, uh, these LARPs uh, are really, really innovative and unique in many ways. Uh, and I think it's the result of uh, combining the, the important aspects I was uh, talking about. Uh, the uniqueness is also, uh, um, we can uh, speak about the uniqueness of this course in an uh, 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 other way, because uh, there are no uh, many similar courses in the world like this. And uh, yes, we can say that there are many crash courses on larva design, we can say there are many workshops and summer schools, like for example, very no well-known LARP Exchange Academy. And uh, there are in reality only uh, three university courses I, I know about uh, who uh, are uh, doing in something in LARP design or uh, design of non-PC role-playing games. And the one of that uh, is University of Maryland, uh, the other University of Washington and uh, which is the nearest for us is the Kazimierz Wielki University. Uh, and why does it matter and why I think it's, it's so important? Well, we need new fresh designers. Uh, maybe in uh, other fields of game design more than in uh, LARP design or not PC game design but uh, in that uh, also uh, as we uh, can see also in the conference, there were many contributions about uh, non-PC game design or non-PC uh, game whatever. <laughs> As girls uh, were talking before me, uh, it's it's really important thing uh, to think about and uh, new designers can uh, make great work of, uh, in, in these ways. And, uh, we can see that uh, LARP and other similar games uh, can be seen as uh, serious games, so not just uh, made for the, for the fun, but for the serious purposes. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, 
before. Uh, we want that our participants use the LARP in their contexts, uh, for example, at the universities, at schools, and at training centers, and museums, and at other companies, and, and so on, as we do, <laughs> for example. So, uh, what are our next ambitions uh, with the course? Uh, we really want to, uh, pro some, in some way, get credits for, uh, for our participants for attending this course. So make some deal with uh, university or with uh, Masaryk University or with uh, the Technical University of Brno. Uh, the other ambition, <laughs> big ambition is uh, to, mo to popularize it more because we want to contribute to more or uh, we want to uh, other and broader general public will, uh, uh, will attend this, this course. Uh, we also want to enter uh, between high school students, so to uh, present the, the, the course between uh, a younger, younger population and, of course, to improve it more and more. Thank you for your attention, and I will be, will be really glad for uh, some questions or topics. Thanks.